If you've been interested in martial arts for a while, then you know how much of a hassle it can be to pick between different techniques. To some people, one art is better, while to some, another is. And this makes you wonder, what makes one better than the other, and how is this determined? In today's video, we'll be exploring the worlds of Taekwondo and Wing Chun, so that we can settle this once and for all. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Unlike other martial arts, Wing Chun and Taekwondo don't usually get compared. This is because there are not many similarities between them as much as other martial arts techniques. For example, Karate and Taekwondo are very similar, and it can be very hard to choose between them. Their techniques are quite similar, and they can both help you achieve almost the same results. However, with Wing Chun and Taekwondo, it's not the same. Before we go into their differences and similarities, let's look at their origins and use. Wing Chun is a Chinese martial art that originated in China in the early 1700s. This art, as we know it today, was further revolutionized and developed by a Buddhist nun who was also a Shaolin Kung Fu master. Her name was Nig Mui. She looked into developing this martial art because she had been practicing Kung Fu for a while and she knew how restrictive it was towards certain people. For example, Kung Fu isn't accommodative towards shorter people and so many short people like her could not become masters in that art. This is why she began to apply these conventional Kung Fu moves in a way that many shorter people would be able to participate in unlike before. And when she had figured it all out, she moved to teach it to the people of Southern China. Only a few students were allowed to learn the art, so it was unpopular for hundreds of years. Throughout this time, although she had few students, she continued to teach it until she died. However, years after she died, a certain Kung Fu master decided to move to Hong Kong to teach it to non-Chinese students. And although this move was questioned, the acceptance of Wing Chun began to spread around the world. This movement is what would bring Bruce Lee, one of his students, into the limelight giving him a platform to be one of martial arts' biggest icons. Amazing, right? Wait until you see the techniques. Wing Chun has a good number of self-defense techniques that can be used in close combat, such as Fu Sao, Tan Sao, Wu Sao, Lap Sao, Bong Sao, and Man Sao. These techniques can either be used by opponents to strike or block attacks from others. The good news, however, is that this technique can be adjusted to work in different ways depending on the height of the opponent being battled. They let you deflect any strike, whether they're coming from above or beneath. Another great news is that the technique works for both blows and kicks. Wing Chun takes an average of two years to learn and this is why many people prefer it to other martial arts which take longer to learn and master. Now to Taekwondo. Taekwondo is a Korean martial art that has been here for a long time. Although this art is not that old, the techniques that make it up have been here for around 2300 years. Officially, the art of Taekwondo was formed by the Koreans after the Second World War in a bid to regain control of their country and take back their identity. When the call was made, many martial arts masters who had been taught in secret earlier came together to create this art, which is now known throughout the world. Its first world championship was held in 1973, and it became an official Olympic sport in 2000. And since then, it has become so widespread that millions of people practice it worldwide. Its techniques are quite complex compared to others. This means that if you're venturing into this martial art, you might want to brace up because it takes an average of four years to learn and master. 
That being said, some techniques that make Taekwondo an art include four fist, hammer fist, back fist, flying punch, knife hand, and fingertips. Now that we know what these two martial art techniques entail, we can now put them side by side to see their similarities and differences and decide which one is best. First of all, before we begin with our judgment, I'd like you to know that there are no similarities between these two arts, except that they're both martial arts. They don't have any similar techniques, and in fact, their other properties stand far apart. That being said, here are some outstanding differences between them. Number one, the number of techniques. Wing Chun seems to have more techniques than Taekwondo, and it's understandable seeing that Wing Chun had been an official martial art way before Taekwondo was formed. So over time, more and more techniques might have been added to Wing Chun's list. Number two, the time frame for learning. From what I've said earlier, the time frame to learn these two are different. Two sets of Wing Chun students would graduate before one graduates from learning Taekwondo. This is because although Wing Chun has more techniques, it's easier to learn and master when compared to Taekwondo. Number three, origin. These two martial arts originate from different countries in Asia, one from China and the other from Korea. Number four, suitability and eligibility. Naturally, many martial arts were made with certain kinds of people in mind. For example, Taekwondo was made for tall, bulky people. Therefore, shorter people might have a hard time keeping up. This is why Wing Chun was created in the first place, to accommodate people of different heights and sizes and give them a shot at martial arts. So the biggest difference between these two martial arts is that one gives everybody equal footing while the other is only reserved for certain kinds of people. Now, with this in mind, which can we say is best? Well, it depends on what you're up against, to be honest. If you're in an open fight, let's say a street fight, and you're trying to defend yourself, you might want to use Taekwondo. Taekwondo helps with long range fights because it needs space to be used. So if you're in a fight that isn't putting you and your opponent close to each other, you should try out Taekwondo. In the same way, if your fight requires you to be in such close range with your opponent, you might consider using Wing Chun. But what happens when you only know one of the two? Well, you might get beat up or get a draw depending on which one of them you know how to use. If it's Wing Chun and the circumstances are not pleasant, you are most likely going to get beat up badly. But if you know Taekwondo, no matter the situation, your techniques will be able to work for you. So technically, this means that Taekwondo is better than Wing Chun in many ways. Yes, it takes a long time to learn and it might be restrictive, but then it does produce great results.